Shoulders were very scared. Scared of uh, artifacts that's been dug up that, that belong to somebody that's already dead. We were told, you know, don't bother things like that. So just beyond here is the storeroom where we'll be looking at some of the artifacts. Soon after these objects were collected, it was a common practice in museums that they would treat these artifacts with pesticides, like, for instance, arsenic, um, to keep the bugs from literally eating the artifacts. Unfortunately, at that time, they didn't take into consideration the fact that these poisons that kept the bugs away were harmful to people that might want to touch the artifacts. These are artifacts that come from Wind River. How did you get them? Were they bought? Back in the early 20th century, there was a curator here at the Museum, a curator of anthropology. His name was George Dorsey. The Field Museum had a curator, George Dorsey, who purchased a lot of the items in their collection from Wind River. These were people who needed those cash funds. Their traditional culture had been removed from them, and they were forced to participate in an economy that wasn't theirs. How can a guy like that, you know, have all this stuff 